Well, it's uh, Monday and it's 5.30 in the evening. Kind of waited until it cooled down. There's 111 here yesterday. It's probably about 90 right now. I've got a little shade, well, partly in the shade anyway. So I thought maybe what I'd do is, I don't have a chance to go out to the desert or anything these days, that I'd go through some of my old tailings here. You're always going to miss a certain percentage of gold when you sluice it or whatever you do. So I just thought I'd go through a little and see if there's any specks at all. Let's find out. It's hard to shovel with one hand, but I guess we can do it. We'll classify it down to about a quarter inch. And see if there's anything to spec there too, hopefully. Doesn't a very huge amount, so probably not. Like I say, these are all tailings, so I'm not expecting much. Oh, I see a piece right there. Alright. It's nice. One that got away. Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay, hey, look at that. This might turn out to be pretty good after all. Yeah, let's see, don't see any giant nuggets in this. Okay. this so if you think hey you're going too fast you're going to lose something well it'll end up in the pan if I do but I'm usually a pretty fast panner kind of get a feel where you just <laughs> you just know what you should do In the first pan. That's the trick means so I do this. Like, there's riches to behold. Now yeah, it's fun. Let's see if there's anything in number four. No, it's not. Well, 
I see, I, I did see a piece there somewhere. It'll pop up again if it was. I'll turn this off and clean it up a little bit. Look right there. Right there. six so we'll go to number seven I'll probably do ten all together more to go and then either of course there's a plus to this that tells me that the uh, recirculating sluice I have over there all the tailings from it shows tells me I was doing a good job I had it at the right angle and speed and so forth because I really wasn't losing anything to speak of about four specks there. A couple of them are not too bad of size. That's it. I found this bucket here. It's a little bit of dirt in it. And I don't remember where I got this from. It might have been over by Cajon, the Cajon Pass area, but I don't know. It's been sitting around here forever. So I'll go through some of the... Maybe uh, there's a little bit in it. Oh, two specks. Much more because this water is really getting dirty. Well, here moved around. There's one, there's one, and the one got buried somewhere. <laughs> oh, I mean, you probably can't see really super small. It's about two more little, real little ones. Super fine glass pan. From that batch from uh, the Cajon Pass. There's, I think, there's three there. I think there's one or two hidden. I looked around at this stuff for a while. So these two buckets here actually have uh, dirt that's been completely uh, ground up. I, this is a few years ago. I went to, uh, a friend has a a mine over towards Paris uh, and so I went down into the mine and hacked at the walls all day and then the, he ran it through his mill and crusher and all that but it's so fine if there is any gold in it you about have to have a you know <laughs> microscope to find it let's see what we have here a bunch of rocks this is pastelite it's called and I found that close to, uh, on my way to an amber mine, or a claim rather, an amber claim a few years back. Uh, I don't remember, I think it was in Arizona possibly. Pretty sure. Anyway, some of this stuff is from uh, different places I've been to. And this stuff here, every once in a while I'll crush it up by hand and look to see if there's any gold in it. That's about it.